Hey guys, and welcome to part 7 of Crash Bandicoot. So, before we continue on, I feel that we should um, explain something a little bit. A little story. So, after we did parts 1 to 6, uh, I accidentally forgot to save. So, um, when I got back to the save file, um... Uh, all the levels were gone, and I had to play back from from where we started in um, in part four. So I did all the levels, and when I did Sunset Vista, I managed to grab the key, which unlocks another level, um, which I'm gonna show off first, and then we'll do uh, Koala Kong. So. Um, yeah, that's basically it. But uh, we're going to do Whole Hog. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. And now, by the way, this is post-commentary. So, um, and this is when my mic just kind of got messed up here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just moving back and forth. So, do I hit the... Yeah, there we go. So now we are doing Whole Hog, which is another Warthog level, and I don't know, I still find both of them not really that good in my opinion. And it's mainly because of, you know, what you have to do, especially when you're going for 100%. So. I mean, it might seem easy, maybe to some, but like when it comes to getting all the boxes, like moving him left to right is stiff and knowing what kind of obstacles are coming up ahead and that kind of thing, it's just, it gets irritating after a while. And I'm not sure if I actually do this in a perfect run. Uh, I don't remember if I did, uh, but that would be quite the quite the miracle if I manage to pull it off. Oh, wow, that was close. Oh, wow, I actually did it. That was a, indeed a perfect run. So, now we, we got the clear gem for the stage and um, when we get to the later stages um, we're, we're still inching closer to getting most of the gems, even though this is, for the most part, a normal run-through. So, um, Um, when we get to the uh, when we get to the um, gems I'll explain what's going on okay so this is Koala Kong and basically what you're doing is that you're waiting till he's throwing boulders and you're waiting until he throws this big boulder at you which is heavy and then you knock it right back to him but the thing about it is, when you knock it back to him, you gotta make sure you don't hit any of these cards. And uh, this is just a trick that I've kind of picked up on from experience and that kind of thing. And um, yeah, it's hard to, especially in the later half when you're doing the uh, the uh, the gems and stuff, uh, getting that uh, that kind of. Um, Thing there. Yeah, that was tough. It's all about, um, I think at the most it's about timing and knowing what kind of places you're at. Yeah, but sometimes when it comes to uh, the TNT, they put 
sometimes he can be uh, really obnoxious, but yeah, I kind of messed up there. Yeah, because you got to make sure you don't hit the cards, and um, sometimes that can be quite the nuisance if you, you know you're not really paying attention. So, yeah, about there. Yeah, this boss is relatively, it's easy, but um, it gave me a bit of trouble the first time I played the game, and even coming back to it is a little bit of a, it has a little bit of a curve there that you have to, that you have to pay attention to, so. Okay, so, um, next on the list for um, crash levels, I... Which one are we doing? Oh, oh, heavy machinery. So, um, yeah, this is relatively a comfortable stage, but uh, it gets a little confusing when you get through uh, trying to get the boxes and stuff, which I'll show off with. Oh no, wait, it's not this level. I'm thinking of another level. You think that that area is a pit, but um, nope. You would think so, but it's not. It can be deceiving like that when you're when you're doing these kind of levels, um, back to back, like um, trying to go for that 100%. Me, relatively for this playthrough, uh, it's not. Uh, the whole, you know, if it's mostly point A to point B, but I'm gonna, like I said before, uh, I'm gonna try and get as many boxes and uh, as many gems as possible because uh, the more lives you have, it really helps out in the end, uh, especially when you're doing those tight, these, uh, those really hard stages, uh, like the color gem stages, of course, and um, of course, uh, a few others I can uh, think of off the top of my head, but um, <laughs> managed to grab the um, grab the uh, thing there. So yeah, you gotta watch out for these guys because you can't jump into them. And you can't spin it on them, obviously, because of, um, they basically buzz saws. So. Thank God they don't put that in, um. You know, right there, that was me getting a little cocky and, uh, me not paying attention to the patterns and stuff because you really got to watch what you're doing in these level when it comes to memorization and um, knowing what enemy goes where and what kind of hazards you have to go through it's tough and um, for first-time players getting into the Crash Bandicoot series um, it might be a little bit more tough on them hey, wait a second there you go and uh, yeah Now we got the um, the Tana bonus levels, which yeah, you'll see more and more uh, throughout this whole thing that they're they really start to ramp up the number of uh, boxes, which uh, 
becomes a little bit of a pain. Um, especially if you got to be really precise like this. But just like that, all the Tana boxes are there. Played the level. I thought that um, I thought that I wasn't gonna break it, but somehow it it worked. And just like that, lost all of my, um, uh, my Aku Aku masks. Which kind of sucks, but, like, if you're doing it, um, you know, that way. And, um, like that, which is not the preferred way of doing that. But, um. This time I actually try to wait. So there's that. And wow, I thought I wasn't going to make it there. I don't like, um, especially going back to Crash 1, I don't like the, um, his jump arc, especially. Okay, now for this, uh, for this uh, Brio bonus level... I actually died a number of times, which you're going to see me cut, but um, I'll tell you this now, um, it had to be more than, you know, 15, more than 15 deaths just to pile through this, and if you pay attention to my, um, if you pay attention, or no, because, because uh, it doesn't cost lives at all when you're doing these when you're doing the bonus stages. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, so. You know, I don't know why I jumped there. I just kind of did. I was an idiot. But, um, might have been, like, tired that day. I just wasn't having a really good day at all uh, but yeah we're let's say we're approaching the end of the level so it's so now for this section it's mostly just uh, worrying about boxes and stuff that need to break that uh, that must be broken And that's it. That's all the gems. Yeah, this um, this stage has like it has a really dickish, uh, brio, a bonus stage. But besides that, it's mostly comfortable. Um, aside from a few hazards, which can sometimes bite you in the ass, but um, that's it. So we're gonna end the part off right here. And uh, pick it up next time with the next level, Cortex Power. And, um, yeah. So, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. I will see you guys next time with Cortex Power. Thank you all so much for watching. And, of course, don't forget 
to take care.